Now we will configure the host front server using the host access manager. The host access manager, or HAM, is used to create and modify the host front server configuration information such as host connection, user and group permissions, and session configurations. To launch the application, click the Windows Start button and select Seagull Host Access Manager. Once HAM opens for the first time, it will launch the Quick Configuration Wizard. First, we'll need to create a cluster. HostFront can use clusters of servers for load balancing and failover. In this sense, a cluster is a definition which can be used by multiple HostFront servers. To create the cluster, we need to define some information. The profile type will be HostFront Server. The primary SQL Server IP address is the IP address of the machine hosting the SQL Server instance. For a typical evaluation installation, all components will be installed on the development machine. You can retain the default port value of 1433. Lastly, you need to enter the authentication user ID and password to the SQL Server. The installation overview recommends the use of the lowercase sa as the user ID and sa1234 as the password. The HAM administrator will connect to the cluster with the user ID administrator and the password hfem and then the HAM will log into the SQL Server using the user ID SA. The next step is to define the connection type which includes the host connection and the session information. Choose the express configuration feature and click next to proceed. On this dialog we're defining a license key, the host, and the host front server connection information all in one step. Start by selecting the type of host you'll be using, 3270 or 5250. For our demo, we'll, we'll specify 5250. You'll need to enter the key you were provided when you receive the software. The host name should be the DNS or IP address of the mainframe or AS400 host to which you'll be connecting. The server name should be the DNS or IP address where the host front server resides. For an evaluation setup, it is probably the current workstation. Keep the default port value if valid in your environment and click next. You should receive a message that your cluster was created successfully. The wizard will use the entered information to define a host connection and a session accessible by a user defined as demo with a password of demo. Click finish to test the display session. When testing the display session, your machine will launch its default browser. The default browser should be Internet Explorer and is required to run the ActiveX control. It's likely you'll also need to click the gray bar at the top to run the ActiveX control. You'll be prompted with a security warning as well. Select Run. Using the express configuration created user ID of demo with the password of demo, log into your host session. You should now be connected to your host using HostFront's web-based emulator. The successful connection of the ActiveX control demonstrates that all connections and settings are configured properly. You may decide to simply provide browser-based host access using HostFront, but most likely you will be interested to see how easily HostFront lets you turn green screen transactions into .NET classes that can be called from any Windows or IIS application. That concludes the configuration of HostFront using the Host Access Manager.